Bradley Juby TV proudly presents. It's football time in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. The Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. Home of the seven-time national champions. The most epic and brutal team in college football. The one and only Oklahoma Sooners. There's only one Oklahoma. Well, how's it going, Jubitarians and Sooner football fans? This is Bradley Juby, and I have the post-Bedlam vlog. And I'm just going to say this right now. Oh, that was too much bedlam. That's right, too much bedlam. Oh, I've seen some wild bedlams in my time, but oh man. That, is, that beats uh, 2008 for wildest bedlam. 6141 back in 08. Oh, but man, 6252. I mean. Okay, I learned two things from this particular bed. And the good news, it's good news and it's bad news. The good news is, as I said it, Baker Mayfield is, without a shadow of a doubt, the front runner for the Heisman Trophy. 600 yards with, I think, five touchdowns but only two interceptions, and I'm not liking the fact that he threw two interceptions, especially that late interception that almost cost us the game. But for almost 600 yards and probably five touchdown passes, that's pretty good. That's a Heisman game right there. So all you Heisman voters out there, you snubbed him two straight years. You are not going to snub him this year. All right, there's no snubbing that, okay? All right, and number two, the bad news. This defense sucks! This defense is terrible! Okay, yeah, they got some turnovers and they got some stops, but, oh, 52 points. This is only like the second time since 2004 and this is the first time Lincoln Riley's done it but this is only the second time since 2004 2005 since that USC blowout that OU has given up 50 plus points in a game that is unacceptable I won't accept it Okay. 52 points. Oh my. Ugh. That's just. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. Oh. I mean, granted, Mason Rudolph is a good quarterback and they got some good receivers, but. Oh. I mean. Especially that secondary. I mean, I'm glad Oboe got a sack. But, oh, it's just defense. How do we keep getting away with this week after week, except for the time we didn't four weeks back against Iowa State? But other than that, how do we get away with this? Somebody explain to me how we keep getting away with playing that bad on defense. Oh, I guess it's because we got a good offense. Yes, the offense. I love this offense. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there's just, I mean, a lot of people said, well, you don't have P. Ryan, you don't have Mixon, you don't have Westbrook. You're not going to be as good on offense. But I'm telling you, you're looking at the best offense in the nation right now. I mean, there's really not a better offense than OU's offense right now. Because when they need to, because more times than not, and I say more times than not, but when they need to answer, 
When they need to score, they score. And they were doing a lot of that this particular game. Well, because of course uh, we had to or we weren't going to win it. But I'm telling you though, Marquise Brown though, Hollywood Brown, man, two touchdown catches, two burns on that OSU secondary. That's what's up. I mean, the OSU secondary got just as tor much torched as ours. But, you know, we couldn't stop them a lot, but they dang sure couldn't stop us for most of the game. I mean, yeah, they got sacks. They got four sacks on Mayfield, which, I mean, I'm still waiting on Auburn to get one sack on Baker Mayfield, but OSU got four sacks on him. So that's a change, but regardless... This defense has got to play better down the stretch. Because next week it's not going to get any better. Because TCU, they've got an offense too. And I feel like they are going to make plays. And they're going to give us a game next week. I mean, because next week's going to be a top 10 matchup. With the number one spot in the Big 12 title on the line. It's not going to be the Big 12 title, but... First place in the Big 12 is on the line next week. I'll talk about that later, but... Man, we got away with so much in that game. I mean, it could have been 14-0 early. You know, there was a penalty and... Sorry. There was a call that went the other way. Oh, man. And there was some calls that I just... Now, on that uh, targeting call, they I was surprised that they actually did overturn that interception because they said it, the, the targeting was called after the interception, but I guess the refs made a mistake, so they corrected their mistakes, something they rarely do, even though it was not to our favor. And after that late interception from Baker Mayfield, I thought to myself, Oh, they're going to score on us. They're, they're, they're going to score on us. Well, and they got and they got their drive kept going after after the targeting penalty, but they ended up turning it over on down, so. Oh, man. So much bedlam in that game, but nonetheless, now I don't think Baker actually planted the flag, but, uh, well, I guess in a de facto sense, Baker Mayfield and the Sooners, once again, they plant that flag in Payne County. Yeah. Payne County may be tough for, on OU, and that stadium is rocking when the Sooners come, but more times than not, the Sooners do come out on top. Uh, speaking of that, uh, now, none of my Oklahoma State friends took me up on my bet. Adam didn't take me up on the bet. Allie didn't take me up on the bet. Lori Allen didn't take, take up my bet. And uh, not even Lauren took me up on the bet. But, uh, well, I would have probably done the waving song and ride them Cowboys if the Cowboys had won anyway. But, come on, folks. You all chickened out big time. Now... And of course, uh, somebody still owes me a Boomer Sooner after their team lost last week. So you know who you are. So, all right, I'm about to wrap this up next week, 7 o'clock. KCU will come to Norman. Uh, we still got quite a bit of football left in this season, but uh, sorry, folks. This is still the Sooner State. Well, Bradley Jubies. This is Bradley Juby saying Boomer Sooner. This has been the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog, a presentation of Bradley Juby TV. Boomer Sooner!